In a little more than 24 hours, former Boise State head coach Chris Peterson will begin coaching his last football game ever. By now, you know he's who he is playing, the very school where he made his name, that's Boise State. Those two teams are going to face off in the Las Vegas Bowl tomorrow. Jay Tust, Will Hall have been down there all week with the coach Pete and Coach Harson. They join us now, and I guess it's safe to say, or safe to call Coach Peterson a legendary Bronco coach, right guys? Oh, absolutely. With everything he achieved, not only at Boise State, but heck, even at the University of Washington, he is without a doubt a legendary head coach. You know, Brian, when I first came down to Las Vegas, I was told that you should never stay here for over 48 hours. <laughs> well, we've lasted for over 72 hours now, and we are finally less than 24 hours until kickoff. Finally, I tell you, no offense. I've had fun down <laughs> here, but it's felt like we've been down here for about a yes. month. Uh, a lot of hard work. We've had some fun. And um, but it's good to have game day about 24 hours mm -hmm. away. I mean, we're here to cover a football game after all, and finally we'll get to see what this adds up to look like on the football field over at Sam Boyd Stadium tomorrow evening. Now, uh, Boise State's been back down here since Tuesday as well. They've hit the practice field a number of times, and well, they're ex uh, excited just to, to get on the field against the Huskies and put all these distractions behind them and see how they can hold up. Before we get to that, though, a little bit of fun today as the teams met one final time prior to kickoff for a nice uh, energy event, if you will. Yeah, it's basically the, the kickoff luncheon, if you will. Both teams on hand and both teams' bands on hand, making noise, having fun, getting the crowd that was in attendance pumped up and ready for tomorrow's kickoff. Bringing down the house. We also caught up with Coach Harson earlier today. This is what he had to say. You know, this team in particular has been special. It's been a special group this year um, with some of the things that we've gone through. And, but we're focused on just going out there and, and enjoying this game, all right, and playing our best. And it's been very easy to focus, to be honest with you, because of who we're playing. And when you watch Washington and, and what they've done and, and the type of program they have, I mean, that's another part of it, too. The focus has been there, and I think that helps us going into this game. And we're excited. Let's roll. Let's go play. And after a while, I mean, you can only practice so much. It's time to go out there and, and find out, you know, what it's going to look like. And we'll certainly find that out tomorrow. We have definitely reached the point in bowl week where both teams are just eager to finally get on the field. And and play a football game. Absolutely. I compare bowl week leading up to actual kickoff to like the third week of fall camp, mm -hmm. right? You have one more week of practice and then a week after that and it's your first game of the season. It's like, all right, I'm tired of hitting my own teammates. <laughs> Let's go hit someone right. with a different color jersey on. It is kind of interesting though because you wonder how Chris Peterson feels about yeah. this thing. While everybody's excited to get on the field, it is his final game as the head coach at the University of Washington tomorrow. So we talked about his emotions with him earlier today going into this game tomorrow. I'm excited to, you know, be part of this thing uh, next two days and watch these guys compete and have a blast, you know, playing this game that they love to play. After that, who knows what holds for these guys, any of these seniors. You hope they get a chance at the next level, but you never can predict that stuff. And so that we need to enjoy this moment, this day, tomorrow, and certainly that game. You know, this is a matchup of an 11, or excuse me, a 12 and one Boise State team against a seven and five UW team. And while you think that Boise State might be favored due to their record, they're actually not. They're three point underdogs. So when you heard Coach Harson say that Washington has the attention of the Broncos, it definitely carries weight. Yeah, they, they certainly do. And the other thing that comes to mind is Coach Peterson's message all throughout the week mm -hmm. and leading up to the bowl game has been. He does not want the focus to be on him coaching his final game at Washington. But you have to wonder deep down inside mm -hmm. what he's thinking leading up to kickoff just about 24 hours away. After all, Coach Peterson's coaching career started back in 1987 at his alma mater, UC Davis. Mm -hmm. It's a coaching career that spanned over three decades. And tomorrow will be his final game as head coach at Washington. It's been an incredible ride for Coach Peterson. But as Will just said, for the first time in almost three decades, he likely won't be 
coaching next year. I think we're all pretty confident in that as he tries to take a break and it was a, he says recharge. Brian, we'll toss it back to you. And just to further Will's point, by the way, I'm pretty sure you could ask Chris Peterson what his Christmas list is, what his shopping list is, whatever it would be, and he would tell you it's not about me, it's about the players. He has done everything he possibly can to deflect attention this week in Las Vegas.